Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this nice math problem? x squared plus 100 over x squared plus 1 equals to 19. From here, what we have is x squared plus 100 then over x squared plus 1 equals to 19. Here we can add one to both sides. Let's add one to both sides to make this side also be like x plus one. When we add one to this side, we also add one to this side. So this side becomes x squared plus one. Then plus hundred over x squared plus one. Then here we become ninety plus one. And then we have x squared plus one comma now. So let's use a letter to represent that. So let the letter A be equals to x square plus 1. Then this equation becomes A plus 100 over A then equals to 20. Then in the next step, we can clear this fraction with the LCM. LCM here is A and we multiply through by A. Such that here a times a that will be a square then plus 100 over a times a that will be 100 then equals to 20 times a that's 20a then we can take 20a to this side and uh, form an equation and this is a square minus 20a plus 100 then equals to 0 then from here we have this identity when we have a square minus 2ab plus b square this is something as a minus b all square and we can see here that in this case b will be equals to 10 for this particular equation that means here what we have we then become a minus 10 all square which is now equals to zero that is the expansion here we give us this you know equation there then from there we can take the square root on both sides when we square this side we square root this side we find square root of this side as well square cancel square root here we have a minus 10 then equals to 0 then from here we have a now to be equals to 10 when we take minus 10 here. then recall that we represented a as x squared plus 1 from here so when we replace a with x squared plus 1 then we have x squared plus 1 will then be equals to 10 so x squared plus 1 is now equals to 10 we can take 1 here and that's minus 1 so that means x squared equals to 9 and when we take the square root on both sides square cancel square root here and x is now equals to plus or minus 3 so here we have two values of x one is plus the other is minus let's check if this satisfies the given equation from here substitute the value of x we have the first as x equals to 3 so when we substitute x equals to 3 here this equation will become 3 squared plus 100 over 3 square plus 1 will this be equals to 19 from here then when we look at this 3 square 3 times 3 that's 9 plus we have 100 over 3 square that's 9 plus 1 that's 10 is this equals to 19 and here 10 100 divided by 10 that's 10 so we have 9 plus 10 is equals to 19 and 9 plus 10 is of course 
equals to 19. So this is 19 equals to 19. And the left hand side equals to the right hand side. Then we can say that f equals to 3 satisfies the equation. And equally, f equals to minus 3. When we put that here, when we square minus, it is plus. So you are still going to have 9. Then when we also square it here, that's also 9 plus 1, that's 10. So equally, f equals to minus 3, we also satisfy the equation. And here we can see that x is now equals to plus or minus 3. And we have come to the end of this class. Thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more exciting videos. Turn on the notification bell. Share this video. Give it a thumbs up. See you next class. And bye for now.